Hey guys, what's up? Russ here. Today I'm coming at you with video 4 in my updated comic book collection series. Today I'm going through the Spider-Man collection. This will be a shorter video as I just have half a short box right now. I've been trying to work on rebuilding my Spider-Man collection. Again, for those that don't know, years ago I had to sell off a huge chunk of my collection and the only ones I kept were um, my Superman books. And everything else I've had to rebuild since then. Anyway, this first step, uh, first book is Absolute Carnage 1. I have uh, Spider-Man Unlimited 1, which is part 1 of the Maximum Carnage storyline. And this is a big one I've been trying to work on. I just have not really seen any issues around, except this first one. And uh, Spectacular Spider-Man 212, which, or 202, which is part 9 in the series. It's a 14 issue mini. Had the whole thing at one time. And I've been, none of my local shops have any. And I've been looking on eBay, but uh, I just have not seen the price I want on that yet. It's a little bit higher than uh, than I can go right now. Well, I got Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, issue 99. have the Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man issue 101. Awesome cover there. Got 105. We got uh, Spider-Man issue 8. This is one of the anniversary issues. The I think there's Four across the Spider-Man series. This is the only one I have at the moment. Spider-Man 26. Got Spider-Man 38. This is a little three-part electric, electric, electro series. There's Spider-Man 39 and issue 40, which I actually recently did in an episode of Random Reads. Now we're getting into some Spider-Man Unlimited. I got issue one. It jumps up to issue 19. I got issue 20. Now I was uh, really enjoying these uh, Spider-Man Unlimiteds. I got issue 21. It jumps up to issue 47. These were all dollar box finds, except for issue one. I think I paid five for it, if I'm not mistaken. It jumps all the way from 47 to 110. You got 125. You got Web of Spider Man number one. Love this cover. Maybe one of my all-time favorite Spider-Man covers. That jumps all the way up to Web issue 63. Then 72. And then Web of Spider-Man 100. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is the first appearance of this spider armor. Plus it's a Awesome shiny goodness. We'll go to Spectacular Spider-Man 200. This is a really great story. And it features the death of a certain character. Then we're jumping up to the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number one. Oh, I meant to talk about when I was uh, talking about Maximum Carnage. Another series I'm trying to get back is the the Ben Riley Scarlet Spider stuff. I had a ton of those issues back in the day. Definitely need to see if I can find some lots on eBay soon. Because my Spider-Man collection is pretty lacking. We got Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man issue 2. Issue 3. 
then it jumps up to issue 6. Then we got Amazing Spider-Man issue 415. This is uh, one of the Onslaught tie-ins. Then we got Spider-Man 72. Got Amazing Spider-Man 245. This was uh, probably my most recent Spider-Man pickup. We got Amazing Spider-Man 252. That is the facsimile. A placeholder for the real deal. Then we got Amazing Spider-Man 327. Amazing Spider-Man Annual 27. Amazing Spider-Man 790, yeah, 797. These were, yeah, these were the connecting cover variants. Got 798. And I actually won these in a uh, Instagram giveaway. I got 799. Got 800. This is another 800. This was uh, the one I originally bought when they came out. And I have yet another 800. This one came from uh, a good friend of mine, Geeky Lindsay, over on Instagram. Love that cover. I want to say it's Alex Ross, but I'm not 100%. And we got Amazing Spider-Man 801. Then for some reason they refreshed it. And they started over at 1. I didn't continue with that line. I probably should have because I heard it was good. But I just didn't. Then we got Spider-Man number 1. This is part of a 5 part miniseries from J.J. Abrams. That I really wish would finish because it's a fantastic read and I'm really, really enjoying it. There's issue two and issue three, and maybe issue four will come out sometime this year. I don't know what is going on with that because it was having issues before the big shutdown happened. I have no idea if it's even still in development. We have the backing board. I believe this is the variant backing board. The 1 in 25. We have Spider-Man 237. This is a legacy issue. Awesome Miles Morales cover with Hobgoblin. I've got uh, X-Force Join Spider-Man in issue 16. It's a cool sideways cover. Got a free comic book day. Absolute carnage. But it says Spider-Man. We've got Spider-Man X-Men Team Up number one. We've actually got a What If in here, but it's a What If the Punisher 01, but I included it with the Spider-Man collection because it's Peter Parker as Punisher. We got Marvel Tales featuring Spider-Man, issue 241. I don't know why this is in my Spider-Man box, but there it is. Uh, Fumetti, I guess that's how you pronounce it, number one. I actually was lucky enough to find this on the dollar bin. And it is in really nice shape. I don't know how that got in my Spider-Man box, though. 
We got Spider Man the Parker Years, issue one. My boy Ben Riley down there. Love that version of Spider Man. We got Spider Man Homecoming the Prelude. We have a promotional comic from Amazing Spider Man, free with AIM toothpaste. Felt that in a dollar bin. Now we're getting into some other spider books. I got just a few of those. I got uh, Ghost Spider issue one. I picked up two copies of this. I couldn't decide which cover I wanted. I loved them both, so picked them both up. I got Spider Woman issue 30. I actually saw this uh, Metarog. My buddy Metarog did a whole collection of Spider Woman. And the next day after I saw that video, I found this in a dollar bin. So I grabbed it because I love that cover. And we have another Spider Woman issue 1 here. We've got Spider Geddon Zero. The Venom Verse issue four. We have Symbiote Spider Man issue one, the Gwen Stacy variant by Art Germ. I mean, I had to buy that. It was absolutely beautiful. And we have. Symbiote Spider-Man Alien Reality. And they're not comics, but I figure I'll give you guys a glimpse of the Spider-Man shelf here right fast. And I got a couple Spider-Man wall books here. I have Spectacular Spider-Man 250. I have the Spectacular Prodigy. Peter Parker Dusk. The Amazing Ricochet. And the Sensational Hornet. Now this was part of the, I believe, Identity Crisis storyline. And each one of these, I think, had two issues to them, if I'm not mistaken. And to finish it off, we got a couple big boys here. We got Secret Wars 8. And The Amazing Spider-Man 300. Shout out to the boy who had seven for the Christmas stream last year. Thank you, brother. Peace, everybody. Catch you in the next one. What did you say his power level is? It's over 9,000!